Deputy President William Ruto now says that he will not resign and that no one will undermine him as the Deputy President. Ruto says his mind is clear and his eyes are set on the goal, that of succeeding his boss, President Uhuru Kenyatta. But as Stephen Leto reports, President Kenyatta's allies are now threatening to revive an impeachment push to have Ruto out of the way, accusing him of being a stumbling block in government. Can't resign, won't resign. Deputy President William Ruto telling of President Uhuru Kenyatta over his utterances yesterday that he should ship out. I have offended them, but I am sorry. I have no space to retreat. And I don't have the luxury of surrendering. I am marching forward because we want to transform this nation. The head of state yesterday in a joint interview with media editors called his deputy, accusing him of criticizing the government that he is supposed to serve diligently. And it would be really the honorable thing that if you are not happy with it, uh, that you would actually, you know, uh, step aside and allow those who want to move on, move on, and then take your agenda to the people, which is what happens in any normal you know, democracy, because you can't have your cake uh, <laughs> and, 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 and eat it. Simimi nilisaidia mweshimiwa Raila Odinga 207 mbaka kakua Prime Minister. Sinimesaidia rafiki yangu uhuru Kenyatta mbaka amekua Rais. Sasa saa hizi nimesema wacha nisaidie kina mama mboga mbona watu wananikathirikia. Kwa ni makosa iku wapi? Ah, watu wache bana. The Uhuru to bear knuckle appears to have just begun. You know, on the one hand, you want to sing the praises of a government that you are saying that, yes, you know, this is, we have done, we have done, we have done, and you want to ride on them. But yet on the other side of your mouth, you're talking another language. Hakuna haja ya fujo, hakuna haja ya vuruko, hakuna haja ya makasiriko. The president who opened fire now has his allies threatening to impeach the deputy president and get him off the trucks. We passed that BBI the other day in the parliament and the same can be repeated and we sent him home. Me and the views, if we can agree as members of parliament, we take this member because he doesn't want to, uh, to go, we tell him Kwaheri and we that's a motion of no confidence in Parliament. They know the answer to that. It will not see the light of day, they know. And that is why they've only kept it as a street shock. DP Ruto and President Kenyatta's allies clashing over the push to have Ruto out of government. And he's also going around telling people, eh, Serikali, imefanya hi, and yet, day and night, he is fighting that government. Uh, we want to tell the people of Kenya including our president, that William Ruto is going nowhere. He will not resign. He will serve his full term. It behoves anybody who has morals to just say, if I can't agree with my principle, the best thing is to take a walk and let the person be. For Ruto allies, they say he has been mistreated in government since handshake with ODM boss Raila Odinga. That space that Raila Odinga has taken over is supposed to have been the space of William Samoy Ruta. You've even seen Raila Odinga pronouncing statements of development in region saying that, you know, I am the one who talked to the president, that is why you have this, you've seen. If you think this government is not working, just walk out. Let give the president the opportunity to get somebody he can work with for the remaining part of his term. Ruto is not himself. Ruto is an institution. He's not himself. We will not allow him to resign. That I can tell you. He won't. Even he, it cannot happen. He can only resign by virtue of him feeling that I can't serve in this position out of goodwill. But there is no amount of pressure or intimidation that will make William Ruto to resign. <laughs> Ruto has also dismissed the push to revive the BBI process, which the president yesterday said was part of his legacy in uniting the country. We fought for almost 30 years against an imperial presidency. The BBI was going to install the imperial presidency in a very unprecedented way.
The one time bromance duo now turning into bitter rival while serving in the same government. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.